When you guys first created Crush on Obama, did you have any idea it'd be as big as it was? Any idea? Definitely not. Definitely not. No, I mean, you know, when it first was actually done, I felt like we had a great video and it would be the kind of thing that the internet would be buzzing about, but I don't think any of us expected that it would reach such a wide audience, you know, outside of the internet and really around the world at this point. I know your video is called BarelyPolitical.com, but do you, do you actually have a political agenda here? Do you lean one way or the other? No, I mean, the videos themselves, there's no political agenda behind them. The idea is more about just hopefully creating things that are funny and entertaining, but I think from a bigger perspective, not towards one part or the other, the thing that we all find really rewarding about it is that it does seem like it's a new way to maybe engage people in politics and that the videos themselves really become part of the political discourse this election. You hear, you know, cable news talking about kind of what's the impact of online video in the 2008 election. So for us, it's just kind of exciting to be part of that story. Now, this has become such a YouTube society, and politicians have to be extra careful when the cameras are around. Ben, what do you think the future is when it comes to the relationship between politics and the web? Well, I mean, the big shift, I think, is that basically individuals have a lot more control now of creating something and being able to distribute it to huge audiences. Because before YouTube, you needed some kind of media plan to, to get videos in front of so many people. And then from the politician standpoint, they have a channel where they can reach out to people in a way that they can on TV because you know, TV very often they're living it to sound bites and 30 seconds to get their point across. And on YouTube, sometimes you have an opportunity to put videos that are you know, much longer in length and much sometimes deeper in meaning than some of the things that they're doing just in 30 second TV ads. Amber, I don't know what you were doing before, but was it ever your intention to be political at all? Did you ever think you were gonna be on political talk shows being interviewed? <laughs> Never expected really any of this. I was uh, modeling and acting and going to school for fashion design before all this. So um, this is definitely, I've taken a turn that I never expected, but it's been like really exciting being, a being able to go to the CNN YouTube debates in South Carolina. And it's just been amazing. I'm learning so much every day. Do you think you're at all helping to bring some excitement to the race, especially among younger voters? Yeah, I definitely think so. And that to me is one of the most rewarding things about doing these videos because to Instead of talking, sitting around with my friends and talking about Britney Spears and what she's doing lately, now we're kind of talking about who we're voting for and why and discussing different things. So it's definitely got me and my friends excited, so I know it's definitely done that for other people. But I know you actually didn't vote in the primary this year. Are you planning on voting in the general? I'm definitely. I'll be the first one there November 2nd. All right. Can we quote you on that? You'll be the first one in line? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> ben, this election is obviously very different from any other one we've ever seen. For the first time, there could be an African-American nominee and a woman nominee. Are, are we already, excuse me, we already have the presumed oldest nominee. How much of a role do you think your videos and videos like yours will affect the outcome of the race? I mean, younger people are getting involved. They're looking at these videos on YouTube. Yeah, I, I think they can definitely have an impact. And potentially it might be a video that isn't political satire at all. It might actually be something which is a much more kind of serious kind of piece that exposes something that the mainstream media didn't. You know, the Reverend Wright story will come out and then YouTube will be flooded with Reverend Wright videos the next day or the Hillary story about Bosnia will come out and then all of these videos, you know, kind of help the story keep momentum because people can access them, like Amber said, at any point from anywhere. So that's been really interesting to me is that, you know, there's a starting point to a story and then a lot of times the role of online video is to kind of get more details about that story and uncover more things that add depth to the actual issue. So what's next for Obama Girl and Barely Political? Yeah, what's next for <laughs> Obama Girl? We have, a, we have a video coming out um, at the end of April with another politician, so we're excited about that one. And then um, we have a video about all the political sex scandals going on. That's a Barely Political thing. That comes out this week. And we're just going to try to keep making videos that are kind of the lighter side of politics and hopefully continue to, you know, continue to create things that people want to watch. So it's not just going to be 2008 Central, it's going to be a lot of different political videos. Even after November, you'll still have a job, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's why we kept the title Barely Political. We have a little bit of room there to do things that aren't necessarily hardcore election politics. Yep. So, truth time, Amber, do you really have a crush on Obama? Yeah. Always. Yeah. Always. How could you not? Look at him. <laughs> I don't get that question. <laughs> <laughs> ben, do you have a crush on Obama? Of course, of course. <laughs> Is that why you picked idea. Obama originally to be the subject of the first uh, big video? <laughs> yeah, no, it, it really was actually. I mean, it, but not, you know, my crush, but like, you know, you hear people talking about him and they're like, the guy's so smart and he's so charismatic. charismatic. And it's like, I was in an office and heard, you know, people kind of gushing over him, guys and girls. And it's like, hmm, this might be a good kind of, uh, you know, pop song that people would, would uh, respond to.
It's can a catchy you, one, too. Can you give us a hint <laughs> as to who the next politician will be in the next video? Mm -hmm. Politician. He's a... Uh, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> nice. he, he was in uh, the Democratic debates or the Republican debates. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Thanks that a lot for that a big clue. Bit. <laughs> All right, no, Ben and Amber. The Democratic debates. <laughs> <laughs> ben and Amber, thanks for being here. Thank thanks. you.